What's up Pyros? Today we are going to take a look at my Hales order that I just picked up this past weekend. As you can see here, um, I think there's 19 cases in total. I think three or four cases uh, for another Pyro. Um, I do also got some demo items to shoot off for Hales. So I think we'll go ahead, open all the boxes, get it all laid out and see what I got. Be right back in a second. We're going to take a look at the stash additions that I got from Hales Fireworks. Just went down there this past weekend. You guys might have saw in the previous videos, you got the store walkthrough on the retail side and the giveaway that was uploaded yesterday. I do want to first thank Mitch Hale from Hale Fireworks. Um, wasn't able to meet him in person. He was down to obviously set up another store, but I really do appreciate um, the kind of hospitality I was treated uh, when I was down there visiting his store and the demo items that he's wanting me to demo off for Hales Fireworks as well as thank you for letting me take a video inside the actual store as normally you don't get to record in there um, you can only take pictures but I really do want to thank Mitch Hale um, for letting me do that as well as Amy who was working on the wholesale side because most of this is all wholesale um, did get some retail items, but I uh, do want to thank uh, the Hale family and Hale Fireworks for letting me do all this. Obviously, go buy all this fireworks, travel down there, and get to see their store. Learned a lot about Hale's Fireworks when I was down there, so I do want to thank them all for that. Um, did want to also shout out, if you guys didn't recall, in that store walkthrough. Um, if you did see any prices in there, do want to let you know that Hale's Fireworks did say that everything in that store, only the Buffalo, Missouri retail location, is 50% off of every item in the store. And if you spend over $1,000, you get 66% off, which is one hail of a deal. Um, so I think we'll go ahead and jump straight into it. As you see, we kind of have a lot to go through. Um, most of this was wholesale, like I said, but you will see some demo items over here and all my wholesale items down there. So I think we'll start from left to right. Um, so we'll jump over here. Uh, here's one of the items that uh, Mitch wanted me to demo off for Hales Fireworks. These are the 5 inch Pyro Predator Max Load by Pyro Predator Fireworks. It's a nice graphic on that. Really do like that box. Um, we got six shells to demo off. So we got purple and green Dahlia with red bloom blossom, Nishiki Willow with peach, red and white and blue Dahlia with silver plum blossom, Nishiki Willow and red plum. Red glitter with white glitter and red and green yellow with white glitter. So we got six shells to demo off. Uh, that tube, I probably should have took that out, but that tube mimics the box. It's nice neon green, so pretty awesome. Uh, next to that, we got the Noab. So Mitch wanted me to demo off this Crocodile Hunter. Um, let's see if we can get the performance. For performance, we have Brocade to Dragon Egg with Red Strobe. Brocade to Dragon Egg with green strobe, Brocade to Dragon Egg with white strobe. So, looks like nine shots. All of them have Brocade with some nice colors and Dragon Egg effects. Hopefully, the Dragon Egg effects means we're going to have a nice crackle. Can't wait to take a look at that. Again, uh, can't wait to demo that off. Um, do want to go before I get any further. Any of these demo items that I call out, I'm going to shoot them this weekend. So that way I can get them out next weekend so you guys can take a look at them. Um, down here... We have Golden Bear Fireworks. I got two of the Vertical Impact Noabs. These ones are the ones I got wholesale um, performance. We got Gold Willow to red with green strobe, Gold Willow to green with green strobe, Gold Willow to sea blue with green strobe. So it's a nice Willow Noab for me. Uh, I saw this at their demo last year, so I had to get some of my own. Probably do two of them on 4th July or when I do shoot them. I'm gonna shoot both of them together because Want to have a nice willow barrage and the colors and the brakes on these are just phenomenal especially coming from golden bear another one of hale's house brands really excited to try that out next to that we got the pyro predator candy crush it's a nice 25 shot angled 500 gram cake obviously we got places sized towards audience it's another one of the demo items that i'll be shooting this weekend so i can get it up on the channel so you guys can take a look at it we have 25 shots neon blue lemon purple red plum blossom Gold Circle Palm with Loud Crackling Mine. So this is a pretty awesome performance cake. I can't wait to demo it off in person. Hopefully it has that wonderful Hales firework feel, that nice, loud, breaking, bright colors, long lasting cakes. Really interested to try that out. Um, I think it's one of their new items this year, I believe. Candy Crush, it's, uh, I can't wait to definitely take a look at it. Might have to add it to my list next year to get a wholesale item on it. Below that, we got Lights Out. You guys already know, I know some of you pyros have already shot these when you traveled to Hales Fireworks, you picked up a couple of these. So I had to get a case myself. Got eight of them in total. 
see if we can spin the performance on one of them. So we should expect six shots, 200 gram performance. We got orange, red, blue with green gold strobe, lemon purple with red green strobes. So these are supposed to hit pretty hard, which I'm really excited to try them out. I'm glad that I got eight of them in the 200 gram case. So I'll probably do one for a demo, probably do four or six of them as a mass launch, probably throw that in the demo video when I release it. But uh, I'm really excited to try out that 200 gram. I've heard a lot of good things from other pyros in the community. Below that, we got LAPD. So you may notice there's three different versions. Um, the descriptions are on the right hand side. Since I'm gonna shoot these one individually, um, they're awesome 500 gram 12 shot cakes. They're all angled. Obviously we have faces, sides towards spectators, please. We got the fuse up front. I'm really excited to try these out. Um, from what I've seen in the past, supposed to shoot very high and break pretty wide. So I can't wait to try these out. Always your right choice. Well, I mean, with this massive cake, 12 shots in total, I can't wait to take a look at that. It's another wholesale item. Comes three to one to a case and you get three different effects. So like I said, when I demo it off, we'll go through the performances, but for right now, we'll leave it there. Next to that, um, we got a wholesale 200 gram. This is a Ghost Pepper by Ghost Shadow. It's another one of the Hales house brands. Um, I think you get what, 10 in a case? No, 12 in a case, cool. Um, see if we can get the performance. Uh, these are another one of the items that I saw at their demo last year. I had to get some for myself because they just had a phenomenal effect for their size. And how many you get in a case? I mean, you get 12 one. And when you see this demo off, you'll be really, really surprised that you get that many in one case. So. Performance, we got purple and gold ghost, purple and green, red ghost. So the ghost effect is actually kind of like a, in my mind, kind of has like a hidden club effect or a lace effect. We have the gold lace and red lace. So you'll see the color break. And then a second or two later, you will see the clubs or the lace effect kind of come out of thin air. So that's where you get that ghost effect. Um, down below, down below here, we got Brothers Fireworks. This is one called After Hours. It's 45 shot. You will notice the dimensions here is left and right, and this is from the side view. Um, so that way we can take a look. It is an angled cake. So we got to shoot the front here towards audience. Performance, you'll kind of see why I picked this up. So it's worth waiting for gold willows to multicolored stars with silver glitter and red green cross sets, or with green glitter and orange cross sets, or with crackling flowers, 45 shots. So for me, the reason what sold this cake is the cross set effects. Um, you get them shooting left and right in the field. I think we'll probably do two of them. I don't know if I wanna shoot them um, the same orientation or we'll have one forward, one backwards. So you kind of get a same cross set effects either on the same side or opposite sides. Still haven't yet decided what I wanna do for that, but I'm really excited to try out that case that I got from Hales Fireworks because I can't wait to take a look at this in person. The videos on it looked awesome. And below After Hours, um, we have all the retail items that I picked up from Hales on the retail side. Want to get all of these. The reason why is I want to see if I want to get a case of them next year when I place my order. Because um, I think I got, what, I picked up, I believe, 15 cases in total wholesale this year. But uh, didn't have enough space to order anymore. I want to make sure which of these items I want to possibly get in the coming years. Uh, over here, we'll start with Pyro Predator maximum velocity 200 gram fountain um, in my opinion this is by far the heaviest 200 gram fountain that i've ever held um, i don't know what it's built out of on the inside but it is very very heavy if you guys have ever shot this in person you know exactly what it does it emits a very high white strobe or should i say a white gerb effect and then it leads into an intense crackle in the ending so i'll probably get a case of these next year if i'm able to i just wanted to take a look at one in person and see if they are what I would expect them to be from all the videos that I've seen on YouTube. Um, next to that, we got Mount Everest. I don't typically get many cone fountains. As you may notice, uh, about halfway down is usually just all filler or oh, clay just to kind of keep the base. Um, but this is a pretty heavy cone fountain. And since it's Pyro Predator brand, I should expect some good effects from it. It's called Mount Everest. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has the Everest upside down and see if we spin it around so you can see the kind of the Everest spelled backwards and upside down the kind of the cascading down the mountain um, for performance we got crackling flowers with red and green stars I'm really excited to try this out but most of them you don't get a lot of good performance hopefully 
Mount Everest is just like maximum velocity, but in a cone type fountain. Because uh, I want to, to be honest, I really want to get some cone fountains um, that I know they're going to shoot maybe 15, 20 feet and hang them upside down. So that way I kind of have like a cascading waterfall shooting towards the ground. That's why I've been looking for a good cone fountain. So we're going to see if Mount Everest by Pyro Predator is exactly what I'm looking for. Next to that, we got another Pyro Predator firework. This one is one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So obviously it's in the Dr. Seuss realm. Um, hopefully with the fish, because um, I looked on the performance here, there is no performance. I assume that it's most likely just going to be all fish effects, at least that's what I'm hoping. I'm always looking for a new fish effect cake to buy wholesale. Early in the year, I already bought a case of fish effect cakes, um, but they're only nine shots and they're pretty small. Hopefully this one hits pretty hard to be 19 shots, because um, I would really like to get a big fish wholesale item in the future. Um, next to that, um, this one is called Wild Bear by Brothers. If you guys have ever seen this in person, I've shot it one time before. Um, it's awesome because it has that spitter with typhoon effect. So that um, it's kind of hard to kind of describe what it is unless you've already shot it in person. Um, for me, I shot it at my very first scripted power musical. Uh, I do want to send a shout out to Brandon of KCAP. He's the one that donated this product to my show. Um, it really got me hooked because this awesome effect is uh, really hard to find in cakes. And when you come across it, it's basically um, those ground zingers or zips, spinners that you would see on the kind of the consumer or smaller side, the novelty side, they put it in a cake. And for me, that was really intriguing. I'm definitely thinking about getting a case of these next year. So I wanted to make sure they are exactly how I was expecting them to be. And it's worth getting a whole case going into next year. Um, next to that, we have obviously my Saturn missiles. I want to see which ones from Hales um, would be the ones that I want to buy next year as I'm always looking to get a case of um, Saturn missiles and they're one of my favorite effects in fireworks on the consumer side and I want to know you know how do they compare to other brands that I've shot in the past so at first we got the big old Saturn missile battery by Pyro Predator I believe this is a 328 shot let's see yeah 325 shot okay so yeah, we got the Saturn Missile Battery, 325 shot by Pyro Predator. Another one of Hale's house brands. I just love the layout of it. Obviously, I don't think um, the different colors of the smaller missiles are going to matter, but I may be surprised by that once I shoot it. We do also, um, you can't really tell too hard, but uh, right below the label, you get um, some more of these bigger size Saturn Missiles. And I'm really excited to see, you know, if the fuse is here, is it going to burn to the middle and work its way out, or is this going to work its way in from the outside? Um, I think we'll just have to shoot it and kind of see what to expect. So for performance, we got 325 screaming missiles, red whistle tails to report and crackling, silver whistle tails, green whistling tails to report, the best Saturn battery on the market. Well, we are going to put that to the test as I really do like a lot of Saturn missiles. Uh, I do, I've shot a lot of Saturn missile batteries, so I'll definitely be able to tell if it's one of the best that I've shot, so I'm really excited to try that out. Next to that, um, we got two more Saturn missile batteries. These are both 300 shot. Um, so the first one, we have Killer Skeeters by Kong Fireworks, another one of uh, Hale's house brands. 300 shot Saturn missile battery. Uh, performance, I don't know if there was one on this one when I was looking previously. Uh, no, this shoots flaming balls with report shoots whistles in air. Yeah, so no performance, um, but I can only imagine how this is going to look like in the sky. For me, I need to know um, if I need to buy these 300 shots from Hales in the future via wholesale to get a case of them. So definitely wanted to try them out. Uh, behind that, uh, another rendition of Pyro Predators Million Fireflies. As you might see, we have the four million up there to demo off. And they also have a 10 million 500 gram cake as well. So for here, this one is a million fireflies. It is from Pyro Predator. It's a 300 shot Santa missile battery. Don't know if um, don't know if there's any performance. Not that I could tell. One thing I did notice though when I was at the store, if you guys go back and look at that video earlier in the week, there was actually two different versions of this. There was a million fireflies, 300 shot, and then there was this one, 300 shot rapid fire. What I'm wondering is, is this just a mass launch, quick rapid fire of 300 shots, or is this like a traditional Saturn missile battery where it's a couple 
volleys of you know five, ten, maybe twenty, leading up to maybe a fifty shot barrage at the end. I'm excited to try it. I've never really seen a rapid fire 300 shot center missile battery, so hopefully it lives up to my expectation because uh, might be getting a case of this, a case of this, and a case of that next year um, for 4th July. All I know is uh, I already have two cases of Saturn missiles, um, so I need to know the ones that I've gotten, are those the best that I can come across, or are these going to be even better? Next, we'll get back up top. So this is something that's new to Hales Fireworks this year. Um, you might recognize that package. You might recognize that box right there. This is a Kong Fireworks, another Hills house brand. This one's called Five Inch Nishiki Magic. Six huge Nishiki Willow shells. This is another one of the demo items that Mitch wanted me to demo off um, for Hales Fireworks. I'm really, really excited to try this out. Hopefully, um, this competes with Raccoon Fireworks. As you guys might notice, the Nishiki Blast looks very similar. So we'll see which one is the better of the two. Um, we have Nishiki Willow with Blue Tail, Nishiki Willow itself, Nishiki Willow with Teal, Nishiki Willow with Green, Nishiki Willow with Peach, and there's one more in the back that you can't really see. I know I'm excited to try this out. I know Mitch is as well. Um, so I can't wait to shoot that off this weekend so that way we can demo it and expect to see if this is better than Raccoon or how it compares to it, because for me, Nishiki is another one of the new 60 gram canister effects that have come out in the last couple years and every company is trying to compete for that Nishiki 60 gram canister market so I'll be really really excited to know if Hales does have the best one that I've shot. Um, below that we have another one of the renditions just like the Saturn missile battery down there we have 4 million fireflies. This is by Pyro Predator Fireworks. Let's see if we can get the shells off here. So it's a six shot, 200 gram version. As we scroll around, to find the performance. There we go. You can only expect what it's gonna say, but we have white strobing mine to white strobing. So if you guys are interested in a white strobing cake, I'm really excited to demo this off. This is another one of the demo items that Mitch from Hales wanted me to try out. I've seen the 10 shot at their demo last year. I got the Million Firefly Saturn Missile Batteries to try out myself on the retail side, but I'm really interested to see the 200 gram version, how well it compares um, to other white strobing cakes that I've seen on the market. So I'll be really excited to demo off this weekend. See if we can get right below it. It's another cake that I saw at their demo last year at Hales Fireworks. This one is I Love the USA. Um, for performance, we got, this is a multi-shot aerial firework device. This classical red, white, and blue device is a 33-shot fan-shaped cake. It produces each five shots of red pearls, silver glitters, and blue pearls alternating repeatedly in a rapid fire. Final three shots of crackles ends this show, all with a special red, white, and blue tail. So it's 33-shot 500-gram cake by Golden Bear Fireworks. Another one of the demo items that Mitch wanted me to try out. Um, I've seen it in person before. But I'm really excited because I plan on probably getting a case of this next year. Every time you get a red, white, and blue themed cake, it always seems to sell well. And for me, I always like to have kind of a nice red, white, and blue themed section on my display on 4th of July. So we'll see how well that's going to fit into it. Down below that, we have another red, white, and blue themed firework. This one is from T-Sky Fireworks. Another one of brands that Hales carries. It's called 4th of July. So it's got the nice foil wrapper all the way around. It's an 18 shot 500 gram cake. We take a look at the effects. Sorry if the foil's kind of messing up your view, but it's a whistling to color strobe with falling leaves and whistling to big chrysanthemums with crackling minds. Take this noisy and loud bursting cake to celebrate the 4th of July. All I know is I'm really excited to try this out. I've heard a lot of good things from it. You can obviously see it's an angled type cake, um, but I think it shoots a barrage of different assortments in each volley. So that's the reason why I kind of got it. Um, probably do one for the demo, either two or three on the fourth. This really depends on what I got planned. All I know is uh, I got plenty of fireworks just so far this year, and I even have two more orders to pick up. Um, I, I can't imagine, um, like I was saying in the last stash update, I feel like I'm already surpassing last year's. I didn't plan on it, but you know, the pyro itch has really hit me hard working from home, not really leaving too much, so I look at a lot of firework videos, pick out from the distributors that I can get around me, and I'm just really excited to shoot some fireworks around the 4th. Next to that, we got Pyro Boy. This is a nice 
12 shot 500 gram cake. This one is by Golden Bear Fireworks. Um, for me, this is a really intriguing cake from what I've seen in past videos. Um, take a look at the performance. We have Silver Crown with White Strobe, Silver Crown with Green Strobe, Silver Crown with Red Strobe, Silver Crown with Sky Blue, and Lemon and Peach. So, it's supposed to hit pretty hard um, for what I've seen. I believe this is one of the items that I either saw in the demo last year or I've seen it uh, a lot when I was searching for my wholesale order, what I wanted to place with Hales this year. I'm really excited to try it out in person myself. Can't wait to shoot a mass launch of the Pyro Boy. Um, any one of these 12 shot 500 grams that we're going to go through from Hales House Brands, I already know they're going to hit hard, break wide, and have some nice colors. So I'm just excited to have them in my own stash this year. Below that, we got Double Barrel from Iron Man Fireworks. It's a nice 16 shot 500 gram cake. Um, let's see, yeah, Super 500 gram. Iron Man is uh, from Top Gun Fireworks. I believe they're made from the same manufacturer. Um, for performance, we have Brocade Tail to Brocade Crown, Color Peony, Red and Green Palm, Crackling Rain, Red and Silver Blue Glitter, Red Tail to Red and Green Glitter, Blue and Silver Glitter, Purple and Green Glitter, Crackling Rain. Now, when it says double barrel, um, I don't know if this cake is actually a double shot. I don't know. I think it is. I think you get 16 breaks or sorry, 32 breaks in 16 tubes. Um, I forgot exactly, to be honest. So once I demo it off, we'll definitely tell how it looks and performs, but I'm really excited to try out another Iron Man firework. And that was another wholesale case item that I got from Hales. And next to that, we got Bear Necessities by Golden Bear Fireworks. I um, did get a case from Hales. I got the performance. Brocade crown to red with white strobe. Brocade crown to green with red strobe. Brocade crown to sky blue with green strobe and white brocade crown. So it's a nine shot by Golden Bear, another one of Hales House Brands. I really, really did like that. Um, I think I saw it last year at Hales Demo. For me, it was really, really hard hitting for nine shots. Figuring out a case of them because I want to see them in person in a mass launch state. Probably do either two or three since they're nine shots and they're going to probably be slow firing. Probably make sure that they're on their own so you can definitely tell the effects. Hear the sounds, see the colors, and see the duration of the stars. See if they burn out short or long. All I know is I'm excited to have Bear Necessities by Golden Bear down below. We have another awesome graphics um, from Go Shadow Fireworks. This is the nine shot 500 gram cake called Ghost Rider. It's got an awesome design, got the front. This is a side view so we can get the performance. We have Attitude with Altitude. Nine huge breaking bursts, silver crown and colorful strobing larger than most three inch shells. Well, um, as I shoot professional shells throughout the year with KCAP and the professional shows that I work on around the fourth, Definitely we'll see how it compares to a 3 inch shell. I believe um, I recorded this at the Hales demo last year, but uh, I was using a phone and um, don't really know if that uh, hit like a 3. All I know is I'm really excited to do a mass launch of these, uh, whether when I shoot them on the 4th or when I do. I've got 4 of them in a case. And then above that we have Bear Claw by Golden Bear Fireworks. Next to that, we have Bear Claw by Golden Bear Fireworks. It's another 12 shot, 500 gram cake. Um, can't wait to take a look at this one for all the peony effects. That's the reason why I got it. We have Teal Peony and Peach Peony, Teal Peony and Grass Green Peony, Teal Peony and Lemon Peony. So it's a nice variation of peony effects, all the colors that you would want, uh, the teals, the peaches, the green grass, and lemon. A lot of bright colors, and when I remember seeing this from Hale's demos last year, it was awesome. So I'm excited to get a case, so that way I can do a mass launch of myself. I'll probably need to do two or three. I don't really know yet. I still haven't fully scripted my show on the fourth yet. All I know is I'm excited to have four of them. So below that, we have Global Dominance by Pyro Predator Fireworks. It's an awesome 10 shot 500 gram cake. I was lucky enough to see this at Hale's demos last year. Um, it's it's just an awesome cake. Um, literally, the package says exactly what it is. It's uh, It dominates a lot of 500 gram cakes on the market. We have Crackling Tail to Red Peony, White Peony, Blue Peony with Crackling Pistol, Crackling Tail to Silver Chrysanthemum. So it's another red, white, and blue themed item with a lot of crackling. For me, it fits it well. Good colors, a lot of crackle, and 10 hard hitting breaks. So I'm really glad that I got a case uh, from Hales on the wholesale side. Next to that, um, we got my remainder of my wholesale. These are kind of the smaller items. 
and some retail items. So we'll kind of work our way from top to bottom. Over here on the left, we got a pack of the Kong candle. As you guys might have noticed, I've been kind of addicted to Roman candles this year. So we got a pack of the Kong candle. I believe you get four colors, red, green, yellow, and purple. Don't know if that's how it's gonna coincide, but it's a five ball Roman candle. Really excited to try out these. Uh, since they're from Kong Fireworks, you know you're gonna get some good fireworks. Just intrigued to see how the effects will look like in person. Um, next to that, um, we have two different versions of rockets. Typically, I wouldn't get these bigger size rockets because normally they're just filler. Um, you don't typically see most these giant rockets with full composition in them. They'll kind of be like either rice holes or a lot of open space, but since I got both of these from Hales Fireworks and these are both Hales house brands, I expect them to hit pretty hard and go pretty high. So for the first ones, we got Shotgun Fireworks. That's another one of Hales house brands. We got the All-Star Rocket. You get four rockets in a package. I can't tell. I don't think there was a description or the performance. Yeah, just four rockets. Maybe they might say it when you open it up. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm never, like I said, I've never really gotten these big rockets before in the past because I've learned my lesson. The big rockets are just nothing but a big filler and they're a big fake void. But since I'm buying from Hales, I trust that they're going to have some good effects regardless. So that's why we got one pack of those. And we also got a pack of the Columbia rocket by Pyro Predator Fireworks. So this is a pretty heavy package. Hopefully they have some nice effects. Because uh, don't typically buy a lot of wholesale rockets because they're usually, you know, 100 to 200 bucks. You do get hundreds of rockets in the case. But uh, for me, um, I don't really have that much time to shoot it because, you know, I reside in Kansas. So technically, these are not supposed to be shot off here. So that's why I shoot my show in Missouri on the 4th so I can shoot rockets because um, I love the rocket sounds. Um, just can't wait to take a look at these big rockets and see how they perform in person. Below that, we got another wholesale items. Um, some of you pyros have already shot this before. Pyro Predator, Jigsaw. Such a lightweight fountain for such a packed performance. I don't know if there's a performance on here. No, there isn't. Um, I know Georgia Pyro Dog and a couple of the pyros have shot this in person. This is an awesome fountain for the size of it. The fact that you get 30, 30 of these in a case is phenomenal. I mean, I, I paid what, three, maybe $2 uh, a fountain. And for the performance, it should be about a 30 second fountain. And then it's got the awesome crackle mine effects, three volleys of those. I really wanna see what a wall of the jigsaw fountain will look like. I plan on probably doing either five or 10 of these on the 4th of July on the front table sometime during my demo. So that way I can see all these mine effects just create a crackle wall. Um, and I know a lot of people aren't gonna expect from a fountain to have it shoot up. So they'll kind of be a surprise. You'll see, ooh, pretty fountain, nice crackling, good intense. And then all of a sudden it's gonna shoot some crackling mines about 50 feet in the air or about. So really excited to do a mass launch of these ever since I saw them. Um, I had to pick them up. Really excited to try them out. We also have a case of crackle balls. I've always wanted to do crackle balls, uh, a mass launch, just can never find the right case amount. Typically, crackle balls, anything on the novelty side, when you get a lot of items, they're losing you a lot of money. Um, I'm not saying, you know, 100 bucks, maybe 150 for a case of crackle balls. These were not that expensive. They're from Ghost Shadow Fireworks, another one of Hale's house brands called, called Big Blue Balls. Some big giant crackle balls, with the blue aluminum foil. You get 40 packages of three crackle balls, so we get 120 crackle balls to go through. Can't wait to demo these off. I uh, really want to do a mass launch, probably string up or fuse up maybe, you know, 40, 50 of them, depending on how I want to do it for the fourth. Just have a crackle ball ground effect. 
Here we go. These are always good to have around the 4th or just shooting any time throughout the year. It has their simple effects, but they're nice and intense and quick. So can't wait to try out a case of the big blue balls. Next to that, um, we had to pick up some more firecrackers. This is from Shotgun Fireworks. Like I said, another Hell House brand. This is called Nitro Bomb Firecracker Roll. So I got eight 2,000 rolls in the case. Another 16,000, pretty much. Wanted to try out um, Shotgun Fireworks. Wanted to see how well their firecrackers hold up compared to other competitors that I bought this year. Um, as I know, I got Top Gun and forgot what I got from Sizzboom, but I got three 16,000 firecracker cases this year. So we're gonna try them all out, see which one's the best. That way I know which ones I'm gonna buy going forward. And like I said, you get eight 2,000 firecracker packages in the case. And the last thing that I got was an assortment. And I'll kind of explain this because most pyros ask this question a lot. Um, is it worth it buying assortments? Well, there's, it, it really depends on the pyro who's asking that question. If you don't really know what fireworks are good and you don't, don't really know what you like, you just kind of like a wide variety, assortments are the way to go as it's quick, easy shopping. Um, one thing that I got to say about that though is when you're shopping for assortments, Nine times out of 10, you're not gonna get everything in here is gonna be phenomenal fireworks. What I mean by that is like say Garden Spring, say that's the best fountain or cake or best item in here. The rest of them may be mediocre, average at best, or even worse, really, really bad. So when you're buying assortments, in order for them to make the money off the combining the assortment, they have to make sure it's worth a profit. So don't expect to get every one of these items to be kick-ass fireworks or you know above average or really really good expect maybe a couple one or two maybe half of the package and the rest just to be some novelty items or smaller items so the reason why i got this i probably won't demo any of these off i might do the bigger fountains the tornado alley by shotgun the bumblebee by shotgun and the blue stars with reports maybe the garden spring um, but i just wanted some small fireworks to shoot throughout the week around the fourth where i don't have to record and uh, it's just a nice, unique effect where I don't have to alert the neighbors that I'll be shooting because they're not going to be that loud. Uh, I was kind of intrigued that this whole thing had a lot of shotgun fireworks in the Cobra assortment that you guys can get at Hales. We have shotgun, 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 shotgun. We got Supreme, Firehawk, and Mighty Max. So it's a nice, good collage of firework brands. All I know is since I bought it from Hales, I know it's going to be pretty decent. Just really interested to try it out. There's a lot of poppets, so we will probably give those to the kids on the 4th. But uh, for me, the reason why I buy assortments is when I want small fireworks to shoot off and I don't really care the performance. If you're buying it for your 4th of July show, I wouldn't recommend buying the big assortments. I'd recommend buying the cakes either individually or wholesale so you can pick out the effects that you're looking for and not just gamble on hopefully the person who put the box together gave you a great deal. As yes, you may save some money with assortments, but at the same time, you're not gonna get the fireworks that you enjoy the most out of all the kinds that you can get on the consumer realm. So just be wary when you're buying assortments. It depends on if you want the fireworks to shoot the way you want them or the effects to be what you want. You need to do it individually or buy it wholesale. Don't buy assortments. But if you're just an easy shopper, just enjoy fireworks and you want a wide variety, assortments are an easy way to go without having to spend way too much money buying I mean, because if you wanted a variety of all these, if you didn't buy them individually, because it'd probably be more expensive than this assortment, you'd have to buy a wholesale case of every one of these items to get this wide variety, which for me, when I buy 50 cases a year, I get my wide variety, but I had to build up to that. I had to save money for that. It isn't something that's easily accessible, and if you don't want to spend a lot of money on fireworks, assortments are an easy way to go to get a wide variety. Just don't expect everything to be awesome. Just expect it to be pretty decent average or some cases worst to best depending on the company you're buying the assortment from so as we kind of back up it's another stash edition um, just imagine this whole wall right here is not all of what i picked up um, the wife picked up some items uh, if you guys are interested in seeing what she picked out and the demos that she's going to be demoing from hales fireworks i'd recommend checking out her channel it is a zombie space pyro should have the pink and green wording with the lips as a logo. I will put her channel description in the link below if you guys are interested. Um, but I did want to kind of point out 
sorry about the workout machines, but here's all the open boxes. Here's the four cases that I got for a pyro friend of mine. He picked up a case of the jigsaw, case of the juiced, case of let's party, and the festival balls. So did also pick that up in my additions. The wife obviously picked up a lot of retail stuff, and then this is all of mine. So I'm really, really excited as we get closer to the fourth. I know we got less than a month away. Hopefully you pyros are getting your stashes together. As we get closer to the fourth, it's gonna be a weird one, but hopefully it's a safe one. Hopefully everyone's able to still shoot, still get fireworks, not run out and not pay extreme prices for them. As it's gonna be a tough year for a lot of people. Hopefully we don't lose a lot of firework stands and firework stores or even firework companies throughout this year. And it's gonna be a tough one for sure. But for me, I'm putting a lot of my savings down to still buy the fireworks that I enjoy. I can't wait to see how the 4th of July is gonna be. Before I go, I do wanna thank uh, Mitch Hale from Hale's Fireworks as well as Amy a person who helped me kind of order this stuff on the wholesale side. Thanks for being such wonderful people to work with. For me, since I'm buying wholesale, I like to um, you know, have that awesome expertise of the people that I'm working with. And Amy was well knowledgeable about her product. Um, Mitch, hopefully I'll get to meet him in person, I'm not just kind of see him at the demo. I know he's working, doing what his company needs him to do. He's out there putting up fireworks stores. And I really do want to thank him for giving me all these demo items and tryouts for you guys, as well as all of the giveaway items that they gave back. So for now, Pyros, if you guys are interested, definitely check out Hales Fireworks. If you don't know who they are, you, you, you don't know what you're doing. Um, this is one of the best firework brands throughout the country. They've been in business for a long time. They're located in Buffalo, Missouri, but they have stores and they sell throughout the country. If you guys ever come across Golden Bear, Kong, Pyro Predator, Ghost Shadow or Shotgun Fireworks, just know they all came from Hales since that's their house brands. Um, and you, you should know to expect that if you're getting one of those products, you're gonna get an awesome performance no matter what it is, how small or big, expect an awesome firework nonetheless. All right, for now Pyros, I hope you enjoy and I will see you all Monday with another demo video.